But for the, about the first two weeks, I never actually got told in English what I was accused of because I was arrested on December 29th. There's, and after 24 hours, you see a judge and the judge will decide if you stay in jail. And the judge decided I should Wait, stay in jail. I went to jail and then I was given all this paper in Romanian. I don't speak Romanian, although I live here. And then I was waiting for the translation. So I think it's about two weeks before I finally got the papers in English to understand why I was in a jail cell. And then I really understood how insane the accusations were. You can do that through force. And you can also do that through how emotional that? coercion. Absolutely. And this is the thing that's so interesting. When you finally end up the enemy of the matrix and they use the legal system as a weapon to punish you for having an opinion, you realize how subjective the law is, right? Because it can be a weapon. When you have something subjective, you can just pick and choose. So if they sit and say, ah, Human trafficking is a woman doing something for financial gain against her will via emotional coercion. Well, he knows these two girls. They have TikTok Emotion. accounts. That's what I'm accused of because they have no proof of me doing anything wrong. So they said he's convinced these girls to do TikTok for money. The girls have said themselves have said this is not true. And the state is denying their statement saying, no, you're brainwashed. I, I would. And it's up until this point. No judge has looked at the evidence of the case. So I've done a bunch of jail time. And now it just begins, the judge is going to look at the case. And like I said, God willing, I still have enough faith in the Romanian judicial system that she's going to look at this and go, this is not a crime. Or you're aware of the media coverage of this, however. So I'm, you're in jail for 90 days or yeah. more, and the rest of the world is talking about you. Do you know what they're saying? They're saying very heinous things. And I would hate to come across as a conspiracy theorist, Tucker, but I kind of have a feeling that this might be something to do with my influence and an attempt to slander my name. Perhaps I'm crazy. But the fact that they chose such a heinous crime and they reported it so heavily, and they won't shut up and keep repeating basically a slander attack day after day after day. Also considering the fact that other people who genuinely commit heinous crimes have far more favorable press coverage.